Hey, 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 what's going on YouTube? Drop the tech here, and today, a quick video on how to transfer any of your R device, whether it's an iPad or iPhone, into a universe remote or mouse, even a keyboard. How cool can it get? You will only see it over here. Top of the tech it is. There really isn't much to it. All you have to do is first of all log on to mobilemouse.com on whether your PC or your Mac. Um, if you're downloading it on a Mac, it's absolutely free. Also for Mac and PC, even Linux, it caters for all. If you are using a Mac, Mac OS X 10.6.6 or later, you will be redirected to the application store. Uh, no, no, I won't. Wait, let's see. Hold on, give it a second. I'm sure it will work. There we go. Um, it directs uh, directs right back to the application store. It's absolutely free when downloading it on uh, your Mac or PC. Um, 0.7 MB, not big at all. Um, but as you can see, once you've downloaded it, all you have to do is uh, start using it from your iDevice. So like I said, mobilemouse.com when using it. Um, download on any of your servers. It does act as a server, as I said. Um, so it really doesn't do much from the pc but without it you cannot use the application so if we go down here um click on the application itself now as you can see up there is the um server is open there isn't much that you could do but let's get on and check out what it does from your actual i device so now that I have downloaded it on my iPhone or iPad, it is for £1.49 on the UK App Store or $1.99 on the US App Store. You have the ability to download it also for free. There is a free version. However, you will be missing out on lots of features if you do choose to download the free version. I do recommend go for the paid version. It doesn't cost much at all. Um, I will put all the information in the description area. But let's go on with it. Open the application immediately. And first of all, all you, have to, all you can do is on this area is use it as um, your mouse now as you see it detects which application you open it did tell me I'm using an app store now to use it as a mouse all you have to do is the trigger button right there and now I just have to move in whatever direction I want so right left up down anywhere I want scribble 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 <laughs> um, and now let's just check out what else it has um, it does have here left button so if you want to click anywhere uh, let's just show you me how it works um, so left button right there um, and if I want the right button I just click right there now there is nothing to use the right button for but as you can see the clicks are easy um, and you have the ability to scroll so if you do have any page which um, you can scroll on you do scroll with using this I'll show you later on if I'm using any page now the second feature that you can use it as is as a trackpad now as you can see I clicked on the button up there um, and it's a bit different because now all you have to do is with your thumb rotate anywhere you want um, you know to move it around uh, you have the left and right buttons down here and also this as a scroll now let's go on to the more exciting features of it which using it as a universal remote all you have to do is click up and there we go now let's look at the many features that you can use it you can use it as a keyboard you can use it as to see your dock if you're using a Mac you can use it as a media internet pre PowerPoint presentation or using it as a normal uh, finder now uh, first of all let's use it let's check out the finder what its ability is and using the web now um, I still have the feature of using the mouse or trackpad whatever depending on what I want it but now I also have the ability to navigate through the website that I'm using if I go back here you can see I can go back forward refresh stop search of course using now the keyboard which is my next step if, if you want to use your keyboard it brings it down from right there and you can type absolutely anything you want now you know you can see I'm just typing absolute um, you know nonsense <laughs> but um, you do have the ability to use it as a keyboard and even a number pad by clicking on the number sign right there um, if I can touch it there we go um, and now you can use it as a number pad as well um, to go back simply by clicking on that next feature is of course the using it as a media player now if I play here you will hear some music I can change I can pause and I can use it for absolutely anything I want to shuffle to go to the 
store you can see i'm accessing now the itunes store it's absolutely great because it lets you use it for whatever you want to put up the volume put down the volume next feature let's go down with to one of my favorite i'm using it as a powerpoint now i'm able to use it to navigate through any of my powerpoints now let's check one of the powerpoints that i do have measures of economic oh how do how much do we love it of course uh, using economics um I can navigate throughout the whole PowerPoint presentation. Very simple to use, um, and it's really, really good because if you ever, you know, performing a PowerPoint presentation and you don't want to keep clicking from the keyboard or mouse, you do have this ability now using it as universal remote. You can start the PowerPoint presentation very simply by pressing start, brings it up in full screen. You can navigate, and it does give you the titles. If you can see, it does give you the titles of the PowerPoint very very easy to use once you want to exit all you have to do click right there and you exit the PowerPoint presentation anyways guys that's it from top tech today I hope you found this video useful if you did like it please don't forget to subscribe up there comment tell me anything you want if you liked it whatever you didn't like please we do accept any comments uh, always helps us to perform even better and better to bring you the best of everything so do keep watching we've got some very good videos coming along don't forget to subscribe like comment anything you want follow us on Twitter Facebook top tech and we'll catch you later